lured by the call of the mountains and seeking to climb or trek in the Himalayas. Others are intrigued by the culture and their royal cities, and yet others come hoping to find some sort of spiritual awakening among one of the largest stupas in the world. Check out more about this surprisingly diverse country in this video. And also, find out an interesting fact about Mount Everest towards the end. Nepal can be an adrenaline adventure, a cultural eye-opener, a life-changing experience, or all of the above. To find the best places to visit, dive into our compilation of the top 10 places to visit in Nepal right now. Kathmandu Kathmandu, the capital and largest city in Nepal, is like no other city in the world. The decaying buildings in the heart of the city are a stark contrast to the lively atmosphere that permeates the streets. The smell of incense wafts from stores while street sellers push their goods and people go about their daily lives, all against a backdrop of historic temples and carved statues. For several hundred years, Kathmandu was one of three rival royal cities, along with Bhaktapur and Patan. Situated in close proximity to each other, today, these three almost run together. The highlight of Kathmandu has long been a Durbar Square, the largest of the palace squares in the three royal cities and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Temples and monuments of varying shapes, sizes, styles, and fates can be found here. Bhaktapur Bhaktapur, the third of the royal cities, lies on the old trade route to Tibet, just outside of Kathmandu. For Bhaktapur, the trade route was both an arterial link and a major source of wealth. Its relative remoteness at the time allowed the city to develop independently and in ways that distinguish it from the other two cities. In contrast to Patan and Kathmandu, the population of Bhaktapur is primarily Hindu. The best place from which to begin a tour of the city is Durbar Square, where in addition to the royal palace, several temples are also situated. The whole area is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Many of the buildings in Durbar Square and Bhaktapur were damaged in the 2015 earthquake. The main temples are close to being repaired fully. However, other buildings in the complex remain in ruins. The UNESCO-funded restoration work came to a stop in 2019, and the agency had to withdraw due to threats against its workers. The project has been turned over to the Nepali Department of Archaeology. Restoration work continues, albeit very slowly. Bodhanath Stupa the Bodhanath Stupa just outside Kathmandu is one of the largest stupas of its kind in the world and dates to some time around the 6th century, possibly even earlier. Like Bhaktapur, it lies on the old trade route to Tibet and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The stupa itself is a symbol of enlightenment, but at Bodhanath, the symbolism is particularly clear. Each different shape represents one of the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and spear, which are also the attributes of the five Buddhas. Brought together in the form of the stupa, their unity reflects in an abstract fashion the structure of the universe itself. Pokhara Set at the base of the foothills and surrounded by some of the highest mountains in the world, Daulagiri, Manaslu, and Annapurna I, Pokhara is one of Nepal's most scenic cities. For trekkers, Pokhara is the gateway to the Himalayas and the starting point for treks to Jomsom and the Annapurna region. It's also a wonderful spot to relax for a bit, either before or after a hiking trip. By population, it is the second largest city in Nepal after Kathmandu, but still does not feel like a big city. As you travel from Kathmandu, 200 kilometers to the east, you'll notice the much cleaner air and pleasant climate almost immediately. Lake Fewa, with its cluster of lakeside hotels, restaurants, and shops, is ideal for those looking for a little relaxation. Annapurna Region The Annapurna Region is one of the most popular trekking regions in Nepal. With options that range from a few days to a few weeks, three main routes in the Annapurna region intersect and combine in places. And you can opt to do a portion or a variation on the routes. The routes are well marked and easy to follow. 
The Annapurna circuit around Annapurna mountain takes about 21 days to complete and is incredibly popular with people who have enough time. This route is sometimes called the apple pie circuit in reference to the fact that most of the tea houses along the route serve their own version of fried apple pie. The dramatic contrasts of the Nepalese countryside are especially visible from the subtropical vegetation of the Pokhara Valley to the dry rain shadow area, which features of the Tibetan Plateau. The people and cultures are also very different. Facial characteristics, food, houses, lifestyles, customs, and religion. Chitwan National Park Chitwan National Park is the place to come to experience a different side of Nepal. This is a wonderful place for wildlife viewing and it has a safari type atmosphere. At an altitude of only 100 meters in some areas, much lower than Kathmandu at 1400 meters, Chitwan has a tropical monsoon climate, quite different than what you'd expect to find in Nepal. Travelers come here to see wildlife. The park is home to rhinos, Bengal tigers, leopards, sloth bears, gaur, deer, and many other critters. Freshwater dolphins and crocodiles inhabit the rivers and streams but are rarely seen. More than 500 species of birds make Shituan a paradise for ornithologists. Tours from the lodges take you out into the park, either on foot or more often on elephants for close-up views of the animals. Langtang Region the Langtang region, home to Langtang National Park, is an incredible area for hiking with high passes, extensive views, old monasteries, and beautiful mountain scenery. Rhododendron forests bloom during the spring hiking season, adding color to the vistas. The region, home to the Sherpa people, is less developed than some of the other popular trekking areas in Nepal and generally less busy on the trails despite its close proximity to Kathmandu. Villages and guest houses and food can be found along the route, although somewhat more spread out than in other trekking regions. The Monkey Temple Set on a hilltop to the west of Kathmandu, Swayambhunath is the second most important shrine in the Kathmandu Valley after Budhanath. Due to the resident monkeys that inhabit parts of the temple, it is more affectionately known as the Monkey Temple. The Swayambhut Stupa, painted with the eyes of the omnipresent god, forms the centerpiece of the temple complex. It was originally a prehistoric cult site, but the temple complex dates to the 5th century. Swayambhu plays a major part in the lives of the Vajrayana Buddhists of northern Nepal and Tibet, but especially of the Newari Buddhists of the Kathmandu Valley. Everest The summit of Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth, reaches 8,848 meters, 29,028 feet high. Trekking in the Mount Everest area became popular following the now legendary first ascent of the peak in 1953 by Edmund Hillary from New Zealand and the Sherpa Tenzing Norgay. The allure of Everest makes it a popular destination, both for climbers and trekkers. There are various routes to access the base camp and several options for organizing a trip. Many trekking companies offer a guided hike, either with Nepalese companies or Western-based companies. Bardia National Park Many people are surprised to learn that Nepal has extensive lowland areas where Bengal tigers, rhinos, crocodiles, and elephants roam. One of the best spots to see these animals in their natural habitat is Bardia National Park. In addition to the large animals, the park is also a bird-watching hotspot, with over 400 species either living in or transiting through the region. Thank you for staying with us this far. Let's get into the much-awaited bonus fact. The highest mountain on Earth is named Everest by most Westerners, but actually, its original name is something else. The Nepali call it Sagarmatha, which means the heaven's forehead. Which one of these amazing places is on your bucket list? Comment down below and let us know about your favorites. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and also ring the YouTube bell to meet us again in the following video. Until next time.